Hi everyone. I thought I would do a voiceover and uh, just talk you through a little bit of what I'm doing. I have the fans going so it would have been really hard for you to, to hear me. Um, I have the I do these dogs once a month every four weeks. Um, they're the Elkies. Uh, the one I'm pulling out is Minnie. And yes, that is a dog bandana on my head. <laughs> I was in a really good mood that day. Um, I do a lot of the prep work before they've already had their bath. Um, a lot of brushing before. Um, that was some Shoshin stuff. I don't remember what I was listening to, so. And so I'm just going to run my Chris Christensen brush. Up. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, and I'm just going to just run a brush on them a little bit before I start forcing them. But I definitely wanted you to meet them. I love them so much. I've been doing them a long time as well. She used to be really overweight and they've changed her diet and she's really slimmed down a little bit. I'm proud of her. Uh, I really hope I don't dance like that in the club. It'd be very embarrassing. <laughs> I love this brush. I don't think I'll go without it now. So here I am just brushing away. I mean, that's, I just get gobs and gobs and gobs of hair. All right. A lot of times I will, I usually always have a towel with me, but a lot of times if they're just a little bit damp, um, doesn't matter the breed, I will brush them down and then um, force dry them. It helps lay their hair correctly, and it really takes out a lot of the kinks. Okay, so now I'm just going to keep drying her, and now I'm brushing her again. Oh, I just grabbed the comb with my fingernails. That hurt so bad. And now I'm just going to... I have this undercoat comb. And I'm just going to run a comb through her. Very carefully. This comb is pretty sharp and very pointy. And so I'm just going to be very careful. Even though I do these dogs every four weeks, I'm always surprised how much coat I get every four weeks. Now watch my right hand. I'm pulling that tuck out. Pulling it out. It helps get that little cubby hole there. 
and my right hand again sometimes pulls that elbow out a little bit so I can get right in that armpit. And I'm just going to comb in a diagonal with the body. And this is just what I'm going to do. Alright, this is Minnie. I'm sorry, this is Heidi. And she's one of my favorites also. They're all my favorite. Okay. <laughs> um, I always save her for last. Um, for some reason, I think she's the easiest. She is the smallest, but for some reason, her coat is just a little bit easier. I've already uh, force dried her and now I'm just doing the brushing and don't be deceived there's a lot of coat there's always a lot of coat Unreal. Brush after brush after brush. I do a D shed on them. It's a special shampoo that's specific for undercoat removal. Um, I don't use just regular shampoo on them. Um, it takes a lot of work. I brush them before. Um, sometimes I will force dry them dry to loosen up any coat in the tub and that does help. And then brush, brush, brush. They take a lot of time. But I do, like I said, I do them every four weeks. Oh, I'm a liar. I'm going to dry them some more. All right, so I'm gonna do this and I will check back here in a little bit. And here we go, still forcing. She's just the sweetest. She always gives kisses. She's so affectionate. I wish I could remember what I was listening to. It would just... <laughs> make it so awkward <laughs> and we're about to have a special guest here in a second oh there you go. there's my honey bunny it's my husband he helps me sometimes he loves the dogs. He's super sweet. His name is John. He always comes out and says hi when, whenever he can, or I'll go in his office and bring the dogs. <laughs> oh, I must be listening to the Bee Gees. All right, let's see what else is going on. This is probably a good part to start finishing up. And I didn't realize it, but my GoPro must have died, so I don't have any more footage. But she was the last one, and it's the same thing. I would have combed her, and I already did their nails before and their pads. I do their pads sometimes. And that is it. I don't do bandanas on them because uh, Mom doesn't want it. And a little bit of cologne, and that's it. So, uh, thanks so much for watching. Just wanted you to meet them, and I uh, hope you guys have a great 4th of July, and I will 
talk to you guys soon. Bye.